This film is part of an instructional series on fishing. With the help of some of America's greatest anglers, we will share with you several effective new fishing techniques, as well as methods proven by the test of time. truck I uh, hope you guys can't smell it but if you can I apologize um, so we're in the truck today because Jake and I just successfully went 18 hours without fishing we didn't have a trip today we fished last night which we got a video of um, but my wife was so proud of us and could I, I, we were probably driving her crazy do you think Jake yeah I mean like she says she wants us home but at 18 hours of straight together time she's she's about done with us i think her her and my daughter grace they do their thing and 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 we do a lot of things together which is very important but uh we can always tell we can always tell when mom's ready for us to get out of the house so we we wait for those opportunities and that's when we ask it's timing's everything timing in life is everything so but anyways guys dinner was done jake's homework's done caleb was doing something else but i think he's gonna ride down here and meet us so if he pops in, that's where he came from. And uh, and we're gonna go through artificials. No cast nets, no live bait, no, no none of that stuff to drag along. Nice and easy, a couple rods and a backpack. And uh, we're gonna take you guys with us and we're gonna catch something. I don't care what it is. And you know what, If uh, I normally say, oh, if we don't catch something really good, we're not gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. If this sucks, you're gonna see us suck. But you're gonna see every fish we catch this afternoon. Or every fish we don't catch this afternoon because it does happen but uh anyways hang out enjoy the video all right guys we're just getting out here nothing better than opening a brand new pack of doa cows so i've said it a million times the doa cow and the gulp shrimp are our go-to artificials for soft plastics and i hope you guys know that when i tell y'all this is what we use uh, the reason we use what we use isn't because of sponsors or anything like that. It's because we feel like that's the best product. Um, we're not we're not getting paid from anybody, and we lost Jake. Where'd Jake go? You know, we're not getting paid from anybody. It's nothing like that. We're using what we're using because we 100% feel like it's the best product we can use. I gotta find Jake. I jumped right in the water. He was probably smart and found a, a dry way around. I almost guarantee it. I went right for the... Oh, no, he's behind me. There he is. So, and the reason I'm wearing the GoPro today is because I'm trying to get my female subscription up, my female subscribers up. So, I'm finding that when the camera's on me, I'm not getting anything, you know, but, and not that I don't appreciate it, but it seems like I'm getting a lot of 50 to 70 year old male subscribers. And uh, I'm trying to get that female subscription up. So there you go, ladies. Run it up. Some eye, some eye candy for you. <laughs> we did pretty good here yesterday, guys. We got a couple really nice trout, had on a big snook. Um, some ladyfish, some jacks. So. We're gonna see what happens today. The wind's laid down a little bit. Still not awesome, but it's definitely a lot more fishable than it was yesterday, no doubt. This is when, this is when not heaven. Hey, look who it is. Look who's coming. Captain Caleb Wise. What's up, brother? Fish on right there, what do we got? Jake's already got a snook on, first cast. Whatever, dude. Nice fish, dude. Give your brother a rod. <laughs> Look, man, see? That's why it's important, guys, to always get the first cast in. Mm -hmm. Jake snuck around behind me, and I never saw it coming. You must have walked right past that snook. I almost stepped on him, huh? Let's see. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty little guy. Oh, yeah. We want to find his mama. 
Oh, and Caleb snaked his rod. Stole. Dirty, bro. Dirty. It's gonna take waves better. There's a fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah. That's a big fish, dude. That's a big fish, dude. See weight. A lot of weight. Yeah, Let's baby. see what we got here, boys. Big head shakes. Yeah. That ain't no bonnet head. <laughs> Big head shakes, bro. Big fish. Big fish, guys, right here. He slammed it. I don't know what it is. Could be something foul hook, maybe. Hasn't jumped. Usually a snook, we would have seen it by now. Might be a big jack, maybe. Oh, big snook. Big snook. Big snook, buddy. Huh? I don't know. I'm trying to chase this guy down. Is it a snook? Come down here and help me land it, Jake. I ain't seen him yet. This might be a jack. He's got big head shakes like a jack. Is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a snook, guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why we come down here. That's why we come down here. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. Here, let me get a picture of this guy real quick. That's an overslot fish. Yeah. That is a stud, guys. That's what we come out here for. That fish absolutely smoked it. You ready, Jake? Solid, solid, solid fish, guys. That's what we came down here for. We're gonna get him back. What a pretty fish, dude. You boys jealous yet? No, oh, you earned it. <laughs> We're gonna get this guy revived. He's ready. Thick boy girl there he goes that my boys is how it's done i just wanted to show y'all real quick how it's done that was it right there guys that's a 30 that's a 34 35 inch fish 20 pound 10 bay fishing channel fluorocarbon and the little doa cow smoked it yes sir caleb real quick to the camera to the people at home how much pressure was there on you grabbing a fish for me? From like one to ten, I'd say at least a three. Did you, <laughs> you didn't lose no hair over it, so no, good job, yet. brother. I appreciate you grabbing him for me. Yeah, I couldn't get that mouth open. I was fixing to just bear hug it. The open, the, 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 the open water grab is actually pretty tough. Real quick, guys, let me give you a tackle. I always, always tell you the same thing, but for anybody who's not watched us before, a tackle rundown. Um, our artificial rods. We use the 7.6 Bull Bay Assault, eight to 17 pound medium heavy. My live bait rods, I use the seven foot 11 Assaults with, uh, and those are and those are extra heavy. But um, 20 pound Tampa Bay Fishing Channel fluorocarbon. On our artificial reels, we have uh, we have Stratix, but all our all our rods we use on our charters are all pens. They're just. They're tough reels. They're, built different. They're just built different. The pins are built different. Boys, I needed that. I needed that. That felt good. That fish, actually, that fish was out. Fell right here. No, he was out. Like, yeah. yeah, it just, it surprised me because I didn't expect, as high as this water is, I expect him to kind of push in. And that fish was probably out there 20 yards off the shoreline. Just doing snook things. There you go, Jake. Walking away from the bridge. Start walking away from the bridge. Take the big snook. There you go, Jake. Big snook. Good snook, buddy. This is a good snook. You got the camera on? Yeah, I got the camera. Good snook. I'm a, I got you. 
got him? Yeah, I got him. Good snook, dude. Good snook, Jake. Watch them rocks. Hold that rod high, buddy. Bob, see the oysters right here? Yeah. He's trying to get back that bridge. Yep. Hold it high, buddy. You're in the rocks right here. Oh, big fish. Holy cow, Jake. Pull him away. That, pull him that way. Oh, no. Big fish, brother. Big fish. You can just come up and pocket stuff. He's right here. Good fish, dude. Really good fish. Really good fish. Okay, no. <laughs> All right. Nice fish, I buddy. Got him. Nice fish. Whew. Yes, sir. And we were pre prepared with the lights tonight. That's an over, over slot, buddy. Yeah. Whew. Dude, I was dumping stuff out of my pockets. Jake, my man. Yes, sir. Tide is just starting to go out. This We actually moved spots, guys. I, our battery was dead. It died at the first spot. I caught that one snook. This snook is actually... That fish is as big as the one I caught, Jake. Think so? He's real close, buddy. We're gonna get that hook out of him and hold him up and show everybody. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Jake. Look at yeah, you. Yeah, that makes me happy. <laughs> what we do in the dark. It's Boy, is that one. is a pig. Yes, you might have just one up me there, Jake. Huh? That's a good one. You want me to get a couple pictures of you? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let me lay this thing down for a second, guys, and we'll show you the release. All right, guys, are you still there? Get a release. Congratulations, Jake. Yes. Beautiful fish, buddy. Yes, Super happy for you. I think you one up me. Let her go. But there's nothing wrong with that. We're gonna let her go back home. She's over slot. We wouldn't keep her if she was in the slot. There she goes. My man. Yes, sir. Right here, brother. <laughs> Good job, kid. And guys, one thing, you'll notice it's dark again. One thing I do, when I'm when I'm fishing at night, unless I'm dropping lights down over the water to attract bait and to drop and attack fish, <laughs> unless I'm dropping lights down to attract bait and attract fish, a lot of times when I'm throwing artificials at night, I'll go I'll go totally dark until I hook a fish, just because I don't think a, a light out of place. These fish are smart. I mean, any little thing they can pick up on, and a light out of place could affect the bite. And we may not get another bite. This is kind of this is kind of a big a big snook spot. So one bite is a, is a good night, especially being able to turn him away from that bridge. He tried to get to it. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get out of here. Um, we just hit our second spot. I didn't have time to talk to you guys between the two spots. We did move spots. Uh, we lost Caleb in between. He had to go uh, pick his girlfriend up from work. But um. You know, I was thinking a lot while we were here at this spot. It was dark. Jake caught a really nice snook, uh, about the same size as the one I caught earlier. Definitely overslot, you know. And I was thinking, I've had people, I've I've had people come up to me and and ask, you know, or or say, hey man, you know, you got to be making money off YouTube. You got to be doing this, you know. And I wanted to tell you guys, you know, the main reason I do YouTube, and the main reason that. I fish number one is because I absolutely love to fish. There's no doubt about it. Uh, that is the number one reason. Um, another reason I do it is because I get to I get to save these moments with my kids. You know, with with my sons, with my daughter. She's growing up. She's going to be out here soon. And I don't want to get into a long, emotional, drawn out thing. But you know, take your kids fishing. You know, times like this, I sit out here and I get to remember fishing with my grandfather and stuff like that. And I have pictures from that, but now I have the benefit of, of video and GoPro and YouTube and Facebook. And, and these are things that my sons and my daughters can go back and look at years from now. Um, hopefully I'm still around, still fishing with them, but who knows from day to day. So you gotta make, and, and I know you guys know this, but you gotta make every day count. I've been very blessed in my life to be able to do what I'm doing for a living, to be able to be a charter captain, to be on YouTube, to have my sons right there with me. Um, but I have I have worked very hard to do it. There's been a lot of times in my career that, you know, things didn't look great. I've, I've been up, I've been down. In 2008, I, I lost my charter business. Um, you know, when, when we had the recession before, 
uh, we just we just we're two years into the pandemic you know there's gonna be trying times no matter what you do but find your passion and expose your children to to your passions and share those times with them document those times because one day you know they're going to be able to look back on it and show their kids and and know they they won't know till they have kids and and you guys understand that that are parents they won't understand till they have children how important these times are and uh you know and 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 they're invaluable i mean there's you don't get time back you know unfortunately in this life you don't get time back so make the most of it i really uh i really 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 appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you booking trips and as always the information our information is going to be at the end of the show you can call me text me hit me up on instagram facebook youtube leave your comments questions we're happy to answer them and um you know until next time guys get your kids out there Take them fishing, take them hunting, take them to the ball field, take them to do whatever you love to do. They'll they'll lo learn to love to do what you love to do. And that'll be something you guys will have forever. So until next time, God bless everybody, and we'll see you guys on the water.